Okay, the wait is almost over, and UFC action is back in 2022, starting up tomorrow in Las Vegas after the holidays. Joining us right now, Julian Marquez, who goes by the nickname the Cuban Missile Crisis, uh, a professional UFC fighter since 2014. Julian, I'm guessing that's an homage to your family's heritage. Absolutely. It was given to me by my, uh, just, I guess, by my city, the people in there always kept calling that because of, you know, how my fighting style was and just the heritage that I come from. Yeah. And you, you hail from Kansas City, a proud uh, member of that community as well. We're going to talk about that in a little bit. But you made a big comeback uh, in 2021 after a pretty major injury. How amped are you right now uh, for 2022? Yeah, 2022 is the start of a new year for me, man. I'm a super like excited for the fact that I have had an entire year to use my arm in full capacity. I'm able to understand a little bit more. I'm back in the octagon. I know the feeling of what it's like to be in there. So that has going to help me out for 2022 and set it off for a new pace, a new style, a new me. Yeah, and, and well, we and we are hoping uh, those fans who are watching are hoping that arm is fully back because you you're known for your sick chokehold, your anaconda choke, uh, specifically, right? You started off though playing violin and singing in the choir, so we got to connect the dots of uh, between your childhood and where you are today. You know, it just happens. When I was a kid, I loved music. Me and my brother would always. Uh, would always play music. We'd always try the drums. We'd always do this. And in school, we had violin. And uh, it was, they taught us after school. So our parents wanted us to start doing that. And my brother was exceptionally well. I wasn't the best, but I found myself being better at wrestling. So I, I started getting into wrestling and I found it better when I depended on myself. And, and wrestling really took off my my career, my lifestyle, you know, it got me into college, got me focused, got me disciplined. And that's where it led into fighting. And, you know, music, it would be cool. I wish I was the next Adele and I could sing all this beautiful notes. But <laughs> that uh, that ship sailed a long time ago. OK, let's talk about singers because you have a penchant for singers. You've had some pretty spectacular call outs uh, to Miley Cyrus for being your Valentine one year. And then you actually called out uh, Patrick Mahomes, challenging him to a game of pickleball. Uh, again, shout out Kansas City. Would you bless us here at News Nation with a call out? With a call out off the top of the head, <laughs> mm, who should I call out? There's so many people. You know what? There's there's one person we should call out. We should call out call Keanu Reeves. I definitely okay. want to try judo with Keanu Reeves. He did the movies John Wick. He was highly invested in those. He's a great actor, and I would love to try. You know, show him a thing and some judo. All right, I love that, and thank you for doing that right off the top. A little freestyle call out for us from Julian Marquez, aka the Cuban Missile Crisis. I almost sound like a UFC <laughs> announcer, but not quite. <laughs> you're there. You're there. I like it. And enthusiasm you almost, there. I love it. You, we got to be enthusiastic. UFC season, or rather, UFC games, um, matches, bouts on. Uh, thank you so much in the octagon. Thank you so much, Julian, for being with us. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.